This is a short example on how to map an Atlas upload template to a document. So we have here a list of eight Australian cities that we want to upload into AX. We'll start by clicking the table icon in the the table style icon in the uh, report uh, the upload group within Atlas. From the ribbon bar we'll tick append. That will open up the Atlas task pane on the right hand side. Within the task pane we want the table called cities and under the table called cities we have a template called add Australian cities. Uh, we want to use that one so we'll tick it and move to the append tab and uh, that is going to show us how the template is currently configured. You can see that we've got uh, the city, the country, city, description, state. So we've got uh, city, description, state is really all we need uh, to move from this worksheet into AX. Um, and at the same time, we're going to load into AX the country region of AUS for Australia for all eight of these records. So the first thing we want to do is take a look at the uh, name mapping. This particular field has no name mapping. We want to right click it and choose the system name that defaults for each one of these fields. Okay, and so the city is going to have the name called name. The description name is going to be description and the state name is state ID. And as I mentioned, the country region is mapped to a literal value as we talked about in another presentation. Okay. What we can do is also change the name of this template. It's called Add Australian Cities. If we click that name and then click Properties, let's call this Add 8 Australian Cities and just change the title of the template. Click OK. I've now changed the title of the template. Okay. At this moment in, at, in time, I can click the Insert button. What that will do is take my template and insert it into the worksheet. Okay. I'm not ready to upload yet because I need to go into the standard Excel name box and do some column naming. So if I click on D4, D6, right click and go to select table column data. This is a standard Excel command that will highlight all of the cells in the column I'm interested in mapping a name to. And the name I'm going to map to that column is called NAME. So capital NAME. That's the name of the first column. The second column, right click, go to select table column data and I want to name the description column the word description D -E -S -C -R. Mm -hmm. okay and finally the state column is going to be named state ID state ID okay and I'm going to take a second look at these to make sure I spelled everything correctly and also while I'm at it notice if I tick any one of these, select one of these names, the cursor will reposition it on the column that corresponds to that name. So I can do a double check of my mapping. Okay. Let me get the cursor up here. Okay. If we want to then test the upload, we need to move to designer mode. When, excuse me, from designer mode to standard mode. Notice that the template that I created and after I clicked insert that template at 8 Australian Cities is now inserted into this document. So if I save this worksheet, open it up again, that template will still be there. Okay, so in order to execute the upload, if I click on the confirmation tab and I click upload, the first message I see here that is that the field validation was successful 
Uh, that means the AX business connector validation rules all passed. Eight records were added. So to take a look inside AX, I want to go to, I think it's organization. Yeah, organization, administration, address setup. And if I choose, um, let me see, city, I type AUS. There I have my eight cities. The country, Australia. And here are all the various cities. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And looks like I've got a couple duplicates, but um, AX allows duplicates. At any rate, um, that concludes a quick presentation on mapping a template and performing an upload.